So an update here on the attack and strike on Zhangkoi Air Base. Now, you'll have all seen this photo here, showing multiple destroyed S-400 launchers, which emerged shortly after the attack. But we now have satellite imagery, so let's take a look. Here is the first one. The image is from the 19th. This is an overview of the whole base. The text translates to location of missile strikes. So, we can see here the places where the strike took place. Now reports say the base was empty of aircraft before the attackers arrived, according to the Russian sources. So, take that with a grain of salt. It could just be the base was empty of wrecked aircraft after attackers arrived and Russia did a clean up job. But who knows? But still, it's very embarrassing for Russia that these attackers managed to wipe out S-400 here. The S-400, which was supposed to protect this base, and yet couldn't protect itself. Let's zoom in a bit. So there are three sites highlighted here with traces of fire, so it looks like at least three attackers' missiles hit this part of the base. Now, initially, it was reported the, the ammunition depot was hit, but here, you can see the ammunition depot is untouched. To the right is what translates as the location of the management of air defence systems, with signs of damage there too. This is likely where support elements and control of the SAM systems were, if I understand this right. This image, we can see at least four S-400 launchers, which won't be intercepting anything anytime soon, so no difference there then. To the left in red are two more destroyed vehicles. I can't tell what they are, these could be the radar systems for the S-400. Highlighted in blue, another vehicle I can't identify, likely another radar or control vehicle for the S-400 system. But Zhangkoi was certainly hit hard with multiple S-400 launchers confirmed destroyed, plus other elements of the system. After the attack, Ukraine reported four S-400 launchers, three radar stations, the Fundament M airspace surveillance equipment, and an air defence control centre has been hit. So, these satellites do confirm the four S-400 launchers. We also have three more confirmed vehicles, which I assume have radar systems confirmed. Now, the Fundament M, I think, is a bit of a mistranslation, as, from what I can understand, that's the collective name for the three different radar stations that operate with the S-400. Ukraine reports three radars destroyed, so I think the report meant Three radars which make up the Fundament M, rather than three radars and the Fundament M. So a good strike here. As well as the damage, there's just the embarrassment of Russia's air defence system being hit and destroyed by something it should be intercepting, or trying to intercept. Russian pilots may be glad too. Less chance of a friendly fire incident now. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks very much and take care everybody.